So today's video is going to be very emotional. I will say that. There's going to be a lot of emotions because today we are going to hopefully find our new furry friend, a new cat. Um, but we are going to all the local animal shelters here in Tulsa, Oklahoma to hopefully find the connection that we are looking for with a cat. Now, the reason it's going to be emotional is because, well, I've, I've never been to a place like this. I don't know how I'm going to react. And I think my heart is going to break when I see all of those faces, all of those animals in cages. And, and a lot of them essentially are on death row, which is, is really scary and, and really sad. But I'm hoping that today's video will also inspire a lot of you out there to go out and look in these animal shelters to see if you can find a furry friend to take home with you and, and to, to complete your family. You know, because there are a lot of really good animals out there that need your help. So anyway, let's go. Let's have a happy day today and let's find a new furry friend. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. My heart is pounding right now. Like, I'm really excited because we might actually find our new friend. But at the same time, like, there's going to be a lot of sad faces. I know I said that earlier, but it's like the closer we get, the more, like, anxious I'm getting. And here we are. This is Tulsa Animal Welfare. Here we go. Hi, sweetie. Oh, my gosh. Look at this one. Looks just like Sparta. Uh -huh. That's good. Oh, I'm so good. happy for that. Hi. He's <laughs> just looking like, how are you? Gosh, look at all these cats that look like Sparta that are adopted. <laughs> wow, look at you. Wow, you could be twins. Oh, just waking up. So far it's a huge snooze fest. I think we caught everybody while they were sleeping. Although this is kind of normal. Hi, how are you? Oh, you're pretty. You're such a pretty kitty. Oh, hi. Oh, man. I can't take them all home. I can't, I, this is, no, I can't just take them all home. It's just so tough to choose. Like, how do you do this? Like, do you, do, like, I, I can't just go by looks, you know? I have to just like, like my heart has to attach, but the problem is, is like my heart's attaching to every cat in here. Is he playing with you? Yes, this Aww. is a sweet one. Aww. Mm -hmm. Your name's Pepsi? Why is your name Pepsi? What an odd name for a kitty. Hi, Pepsi. Oh, hi. Hi, what's your name? You're cute. Shorty. Hi, Shorty. All right, so that was the first place. I'm not gonna say we had good or bad luck yet because we don't know. Really, I just wanna see all of the shelters. I wanna give all the cats a chance. And yeah, I have to say though, I saw a guy carrying a cat that looked just like Sparta into the building and my heart broke because he was holding that cat like kissing it and it, I'm sure it was just like, maybe maybe he couldn't have it in the house that he had or maybe someone was allergic or maybe, maybe some, I don't know, but like it just, it, oh. Heart broke a little bit. All right, here's stop number two, Humane Society of Tulsa. Oh my gosh, we walk in, and the minute we walk in, this little cat right here is darting all around, playing with balls, strings, just going crazy. Look at this guy, he's so cute. He's kind of like Loki. Hi. <laughs> What's that face? Hi. You are so curious. You're very, very curious kitty. This is like Loki and Sparta, like, early on. <laughs> well, look at that sweet little face. Look at you, you got such pretty eyes. Oh, you like the boops? There's a boop for you. Hi. Oh. Oh, okay. Not every kitty is a friendly kitty. That's right. Now you, you are a lover. I can tell you are just, oh, look at you. You're so sweet. And here's a mama with some little bitty kittens. Wow, look at this. It's so cute. There's some other ones back there too. I can't see where they're at, but they're there. You are just bit, oh, you too? Hi, hi, oh, you guys, oh, hi. I don't know who to pet first, hi. You're sweet, and you're sweet. Oh, you're, you want more pets? Here's some more pets. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, 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 oh stop it. Don't laugh at me. We this, can't have them all. I know, I know, but how can you not, like, you know, we, this is this is dangerous. I feel like coming here is dangerous for us. It really is. We, we need to, like, just, oh my gosh, stop petting yourself on there. It's too cute. You're just, oh, <laughs> man. 
Oh, oh, oh. oh you, my, you look just like my boy, and you look like my other boy. Not gonna lie, you got me tearing for a second. So the cats we just saw back there are actually not ready for adoption yet because they have to go through the whole medical process, the testing, the spay, neuter, all that stuff, so. And next stop, a place right across the street, Street Cats. We've actually donated to these people. All right, so this is a really great place. What I liked about this place is all the cats are out and roaming around. They're not just stuck in cages. I think that's great because, you know, you get a chance to sort of get to know the cat. More than anything, the cats are okay with other cats and they're just treated so nicely. Look at this one. This is Armstrong, and Armstrong is apparently the sweetest cat, but is also sleeping. They have a cute little store too, so like you can buy stuff which helps to take care of the cats. All right, so now we are at the Tulsa SPCA, and this place looks kind of scary. I sincerely apologize to the SPCA for saying this, but this place does look scary. Like this looks like what I was worried about looking for animals. It says the building was dedicated in 1948, but it looks like they are opening a new facility later this year. That's good. Wow, this is a really nice place. It is. The outside was scary, but the inside, this looks really nice. That is a cute little face. Look at those eyes. Hi. Got the purr button going. It's a good thing. So light. I'm used to my other cat just being so big. Oh, you're beautiful. That's on the bigger side. Mm -hmm. This isn't good. This isn't good. The cat was like sitting up here, and then he started kind of started coming over here, and then he like rolled upside down, and he gave me the belly. That's bad news. That's bad news right there. Making it hard to eat stand up. Oh, I know. Like, oh, jeez. You've got to, you've got to be so cute, don't you? You got a good personality. You got a good look. You love the love. Oh, I mean, gosh, you could pet this cat anywhere and the cat's not gonna attack. It's a good thing. Oh, geez. What's, what's the, what are we, is this? What's your thoughts? This isn't just me, this is you too, this why It's, it's a good not, cat. not me alone. I like him. Okay, you like him? Well. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and get this little boy. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. He is a cute cat. I just posted on Instagram that we are doing the paperwork. Uh, it's gonna take about uh, 30 minutes to do the paperwork and then we're gonna go to the vet and do all of that. And then he comes home with us and we go from there. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. We already have one. We can't get two, but this is enough. so sweet. Look, you get one cat, you're the person with a cat. You get two cats, you're the person with the cats. You get three cats, you're the person with all those cats. Okay, so we're gonna stick to two. I like two. Oh my gosh, look at this cute face. She's like posing, but not. I, I know she's like afraid there, but still. <laughs> it's super cute. All right, uh, bad news. Apparently Sparta is not up on his shots like he, I thought he was. We have been on top of it, but it just expired. So now we have to go get Sparta, pretty much race him to to the vet that we take him to, which is like out of town, quite a ways away, and then come back and hope the cat is still here. The other two cats that were in the room with that cat were adopted today. And so I'm just like, oh my gosh. All right, we gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so here's the story. Basically, we just found out that Sparta is a couple of days overdue on his shots. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like we were so close to having this cat. I had no idea we were so close to his due date on shots. I, I usually keep track of that stuff, but time, kids, and, and life kind of got ahead of me. Yeah, so we gotta get this guy some shots tomorrow. And then hopefully, and, and also not hopefully, the cat is still there. If the cat isn't there tomorrow, then it just wasn't meant to be. And good, I'm glad. I would love for that cat to get adopted and you know find a good home. Um, but at the same time, he was such a cool cat, and I really hope we get to keep him. So it's weird, I got these like mixed emotions. But um, yeah, anyway, that's this is, this is life, this is what's happening, and I'll keep you guys up to date 
Um, you can follow me on Instagram if you guys want faster updates. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like I jinxed it. I actually posted a picture of the cat on Instagram saying, look at our new friend. All we have to do is get the paperwork and then we're done. And then, and then after everything happened, I was like, oh my gosh, I jinxed it by posting a picture of our cat. And then I took it down because I was just like, I was so embarrassed. But at the same time, life, this is life. I'm just like all over the place. But anyways, yeah, so tomorrow, check back. I'm sure we will have more information for you on all of that. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later. I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs>